here in the Valley. Okay. All right. They are going to do a fundraiser here. Now, this is cool because this is, it kind of surprised me. They are going to be doing a raffle, okay, uh-huh. for an escort shotgun. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Chromium Molly steel barrel, okay. Tickets are $5 each. This is what I thought was kind of funny. He says tickets are five dollars each or five or twenty five. That's <laughs> that's <laughs> that's five dollars each, Dave. I, I bet you it's five for twenty. I think that's what it was. He told me five for twenty five, so I'm gonna guess it's five for twenty, five dollars each. They're only going to sell two hundred and fifty tickets. Wow. So you've got a pretty good chance to win this shotgun. Now I saw a picture of it. This thing is cool. Yeah. This is a nice gun. What is um, it? What what model and it's a it's escort? an escort. Huh. I don't know. I don't I'm not a gun guy. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. But this was a nice looking gun. Yeah. Okay. Um you must be <laughs> eligible <laughs> to purchase a firearm to win this. Uh as you know? per background check and, Right. Uh, if you're on parole or probation or <laughs> you're or not have a get, felony. Don't yeah, don't waste your money. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. Um but it's 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 kind of a cool deal because the Vietnam vets of America, much like Link Up Vets. They do the same thing, you know. They take these guys out on trips. They do, uh, you know, they've got the veterans' home they work with, and uh, something else we're going to talk about later on the season. Some things coming up with that. Uh, it is, it's a really cool deal. And and Dave, I mean, on top of being an instructor, you know, he owns Northwest Trucking Academy. Right. <clears throat> on top of doing that and, and maintaining the trucks and teaching class and he doing, sponsors a few guys. He does. He's sponsoring some cars this year. He also helps big time with the Vietnam Vets of America. Right. I mean, he's huge. In that organization, being a Vietnam vet himself, right? Yeah, <clears throat> and yeah. if you that's off to you, Dave. Thanks. Awesome guy. Yeah, yeah. There is. is. I mean, he comes in here. He comes to Jetstream daily. Yeah, and, and you've seen him here all oh, the yeah. time. So, oh, yeah. He is. Uh, I guarantee you, it doesn't matter what mood I'm in. When he walks in here, I'll guarantee there's gonna be some laughter. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm not kidding you. He, he's he wants, pretty excited about this carting thing, too. Oh, he's pumped. He can't yeah. wait to get his cart sitting over here. It's almost done. He, um, he is, <laughs> They're all almost done. <laughs> well, he is jacked up about getting that thing. Yeah. I can't wait to see him get on the track. Um, he Example of what kind of guy Dave is. This, this is his sense of humor. I'm sitting here the other day at Jetstream and just got opened up, and it's about 1030 in the morning. He comes walking in, and he's got his hand held up, like his palm facing him, and he's wiggling all of his fingers. And I'm like, okay, what's he up, <laughs> what's he up to now? Right. And he's wiggling all his fingers, and he's smiling at me all big. And I'm like, I just kind of look at him. I'm like, what are you doing? What, what does this mean? And he says, you know what this is? I said, I have no idea, but I think you're going to tell me. And he puts one finger up and says, it's one. It's a whole bunch of these. And he's got the bird flipped up. <laughs> yeah. So he goes, it's a whole bunch of these. And I said, what is wrong with you, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The guy is just, he's nuttier than squirrel turds, but he is, he is fun. Yeah. Um, Very active in the racing. He's, but, he's involved in every corner of it, you know? He is, you know, whether he's sponsoring cars or jumping in, you know, this cart he's going to race or he's got his Putting big the American sim. flag on the semi yes. for, for the uh, national anthem. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he, you know, and he works so hard to try to time that right, too. So that so he's at the start finish line when it's, when uh-huh. it's over, you know? He's, yeah. Trying to listen He's to listening it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um yeah. It, it's fun, you know, it's it's fun to work with him and, and it's just he's just such a positive personality, you know. Yeah. Um man, this chat line on Swears is blowing up. They had to till the track halfway through practice, Joel says. He says you would have uh would have seen it before Jerry and Skip touched her, you you wouldn't have been surprised. Um why is that battery low when it's uh oh. Well, that wouldn't be good. No. I don't understand that. So let's uh, <clears throat> double check this thing here. I think we're going to need the backup battery pack is what we're going to need here. There we go. Oh, that might help. So there we go. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, technical we got that, difficulties. Just, yeah, it just popped up. I'm like, what in the world? That's never happened before. Where was I talking about? I don't know, but tell them tell them what was wrong. <laughs> it wasn't plugged in. Well, it was. It just wasn't plugged in all the way. <laughs> oh my! Uh, leave the technical stuff to the geniuses. It's gonna be... man. <laughs> So oh, I'm um, glad we got that fixed. That could have been a that could have been a total breakdown. That would not have been good. 
So, yeah, I want to get, you know, we're coming up at 6.30, well, at 6.35. I want to take our first break mm-hmm. because the majority of our show tonight, we're going to talk about a a subject that I think is, is going to be um, very interactive. We're going to get a lot of opinions, especially on the chat yeah. line here. Yeah. We'll hopefully get some calls um, because it's it's an important subject. And it it's is. something I think that we should have actually talked about a while ago. Well, yeah, you know, it's just come to national well, attention all right. of a sudden. It has so come to a national it's attention. It's like, okay, let's talk about this. And we saw this, and we you know, had some other things planned out for tonight's show, but when I saw this, I said, hey, guys, yep. this is something we should address. So yep. let's go ahead and take our first break. I know we're only a half hour on the show, but I think it's it's a good time to do it, and we'll come back and we'll get real serious on the show about uh, this particular subject we're going to talk about. You guys don't yep. want to miss this. We want your opinions. We want your calls. We want you on the Swears Truck and Chat Line. We'll be right back in about four and a half minutes here in the Jetstream Aquasaw Studio. Do you wake up in the morning in a slump? Looking for a new career or change of pace? Well, let Northwest Trucking Academy be your source. Dave Stahl and his team of highly experienced instructors will give you the skills you need. Whether you have no idea what the brake pedal is or you just need a refresher course, Northwest Trucking Academy will give you a customized training program to meet your needs. In as little as four weeks, you can be on your way across the country with your new career. Located Located on on Highway 99 99 in Tangent, Tangent, Oregon, Oregon, Northwest Northwest Trucking Academy will get you ready ready for a new, fast-paced, and highly rewarding career. career. Give Give them a call call at 541-248-3461 or look them up online at nwtruckingacademy.com. Classes start the first Monday of every month, and don't forget to use promo code MOXIE. That's M-O-X-I-E, and receive $100 off your tuition. Jetstream Aqua Massage, located in the Heritage Mall, is your answer for the relaxation you've been looking for. Our massage beds will help you with stress, anxiety, increase circulation, muscle tension, improve sleep, pain reduction, decrease muscle spasms, increase your range of motion, and help with the everyday aches and pains of life. And at only $1 per minute, we'll save you time and money. 20 minutes in one of our machines is equal to one hour of traditional massage. We have gift certificates available for the perfect stocking stuffers. All TENS units are on sale now, and don't forget your BioFreeze. Jetstream Aqua Massage. It's not just a massage, it's an experience. Crocker's Cars is located on Sandy M Highway across the street from Walmart in Lebanon, Oregon. We've been providing the finest pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and RVs since 1983. Crocker's Cars has been in business for 31 years, offering quality used vehicles that meet your needs. With our experience and professionalism and no hassle buying, customers really do come first here at Crocker's Cars. Crocker's Cars, where quality is the difference. Look us up on the web at crockerscars.com for a full line of inventory or give us a call at 541 258 Two one seven five five four one two five eight two one seven five. Race fans, are you ready for the biggest, baddest, fastest street stock tour this side of the Mississippi River? The Road to the Iron Giant is coming to a racetrack near you. Eight different tracks that will test the best talent in the West on both dirt and asphalt. Don't miss the kickoff to the 2017 series on April 29th at the Bobby Morley Memorial at Sunset Speedway. On May 20th, we prepare for the war at the southern border at Southern Oregon Speedway in White City. Hold on to your lug nuts, race fans. June 3rd, the Street Stocks take on the Sportsman Division of Madger Speedway. If that wasn't exciting enough, they're going to do it all again on June 10th in round number two, the Street Stocks versus Sportsman of River City Speedway in St. Helens. June 24th, we head to Codge Grove Speedway to honor the memory of racing legend Mark Howard at the 11th annual Mark Howard Memorial Wallbanger Cup in a 52-lap, $1,026 to win feature event. July 29th, things get hot and heavy when the dirt cars invade the asphalt at Douglas County Speedway. August 26th, a tidal wave of action hits Coos Bay Speedway as the best of the best battle at the beach. September 3rd wraps up the action as the series championship gets settled at the second annual Iron Giant Championship night at Willamette Speedway in Lebanon. One driver walks away with the Iron Giant trophy and the title of Iron Man. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge.
Now, back to the Jetstream Aqua Massage Studio for more Northwest Dirt News live on Spreaker Radio. Get done, need to get done? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, I didn't. <laughs> That's occupied. All right. I'll get it. Ne- yeah, yeah, occupied. I'll get her next time. <clears throat> so I got the echo fix. I, you know, you, these things are so sensitive. One little bump on this pad, and it changes the speaker output on the... Yeah, down there. that's why we I'm got not it allowed, fixed. Though that's why I'm not allowed to touch it. We got it fixed. So, <clears throat> conversation earlier today between Warren and I after we saw the main topic for tonight's show. For those of you guys that are paying attention to what's going on in nationally on the national scene of dirt late models, you might have heard uh, Justin Ratliff, the World of Outlaws driver, has been fined and suspended. And suspended. Ninety days. Yeah. Three months is a long time to be. Banned from the series for refusing a drug test. Mandatory. It's something they agree to when they go to race a series. They uh, they came up with that in December of last year that they were gonna there was gonna be a random UA right. for the 2017 season. Right. Now he's the first driver to violate this policy. Okay. He's and the, and when you when you refuse a drug test, it's the same as a negative, a negative, a positive. Yeah. Uh, right. Same, right. Same right. Positive. Yeah. So he refused the test. Get suspended ninety days, find one thousand dollars, okay, thousand bucks, yeah, and ninety days, yeah. That ninety days part is huge because you can make a lot of money in that ninety days if you're fast and running up front, <laughs> right? Three months is a long portion of the racing season, but it can be reduced to sixty days. Can be with the successful <clears throat> completion of a treatment, drug right. and alcohol treatment, right? So, and I'm sure they've got some some company, and we have to look that up. But right. here's my question. Okay, so refusing to take the test, we know that that's pretty much an admission of guilt. Okay, right. I mean, why why would a guy refuse if he wasn't guilty? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, my it, point. It, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. So they're racing this. It's under the World Racing Group, and that includes the World of Outlaws and the Dirt Car sanctioning. Okay, World. so they kind of they said, okay, we'll race under that same organization for right. this drug testing deal because if you fail in one. You're not going to race in the other one either. Right, right. That's kind of what they're saying. They, yep. That hey, we're we're both you know two major nationally sanctioning bodies. If you fail on one, you're going to fail the other, and you're done racing either one of those for a while. Which I think I'll tell you right now, <clears throat> I am all for drug testing when it comes to what we do. I am too. And and there's a lot of other things that should be drug tested for that that aren't. You're right. You're but, right. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm for it as well. So frisbee says we should all be willing to take drug tests. We're putting others at risk on the racetrack. That is exactly why. Yep. I think it's not just a national deal. If you're going to race at any track for points or a championship or regardless, I think you should have a drug test at the beginning of the season with an agreement. Hey, look, we can do any kind of random test. You fail, you're out of the championship hunt, you're out of the points money, you lose all your points. Yep. And this is why I want I want others' opinions. I want to hear. Well, I'm sure there's going to be... <laughs> um contrary beliefs because there sure. there there's a lot I know personally I know a lot of people that smoke weed. Well, and, and now that it's legal, now that it's that's well, another quote unquote legal. Well, you know what I mean, right? Right. right. Voted in legal little but, I, but it's still in in the workplace and I imagine the same with this uh, world racing organization that that uh marijuana is not allowed whether it's legal in that state or not it's still not allowed. Right. And see, and that's kind of something that, that is coming up, <clears throat> not just in what we do, which is very dangerous when you're sober. Right. Let alone under the influence of any type of intoxicant. Right. We're seeing it in the NFL. Oh, yeah. And the NBA, because Colorado, Washington, and multiple states have voted this in. The NFL has used it as a banned substance. NASCAR. World right. Racing Group. Right. This is a. Well, I'm not just talking about. Maybe it wasn't marijuana. Maybe it was something else. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but evidently, <laughs> evidently, he failed that or refused, refused it in February. That's what this was. Now, this was the point I was going to bring yeah. up because what took so long? What is the situation where he failed it in February and it's April and he's just now getting the suspension of the fine? Well, it's just now becoming news, or they just now released it to the media. They did, but why? That does, that doesn't make any sense. But and that is what I couldn't find doing all the research. Right. I couldn't find why it took so long. Now, is it because of the World Racing Group 
tested multiple drivers and it took that long to get the results back. Oh, that, I don't know. That's a good possibility. I hadn't thought of that. That's yeah. the only thing I could think of. It took so long. 